Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. Today is Saturday. <laughs> I don't know. September. Let me check. September 18th. And we're getting ready to go to Jackson's very first soccer game of the season. So it's supposed to be like 83 today. Or no, I think it's supposed to be like 85 or 86 or 87. But it's kind of nice this morning while we're at the game. It won't be too hot. But um, I... I don't know, I'm already sweating, so we got to go. We got to stop at the store real quick and pick up some more Gatorade for the team and some snacks. And then that's how this weekend is starting. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I, I don't have like a lot of plans this weekend because, well, I'll tell you in a little while, but we're going to soccer. Wow, it's kind of hot. <laughs> it's kind of hot. We get the air on in the car, but it's kind of muggy. It's very muggy outside. I'm probably going to wish I had put my hair up. But... Yeah, I think it's supposed to be 87 today. Bummer, I'm like ready for fall weather. But I know that every time we go to soccer, like the, the first games were hot, like so hot, and then by the end of the season we're freezing sitting there on Saturday mornings. So I guess we should enjoy the warm weather today. My um, original plan this weekend was to move Madison into her new place, but that got delayed because the contractor had COVID so it pushed everything back so um, I don't really have any huge plans this weekend. Marion already made one trip to the dump this morning. We borrowed Michael's truck and took a bunch of like like the old bathroom vanity and stuff from the basement but I'm thinking I might pull out my fall decor because I could do that this weekend because I've been so busy I haven't had a chance to and I, I don't know it's halfway through September so maybe I'll do that in this vlog we'll see. And um, they, that was a that was a good game. They're gonna, considering they had one practice, they did really good. Our coach needs to teach them about positions <laughs> and really work on that, you know. But it was good. We we won one to zero, but it was a great game. Jackson did so good defending. He's a really good defender. But um, gotta let the dogs in. We stopped at the mall and we ate lunch. I forgot to show you what I got, but I got a chicken Caesar salad wrap, and I'm gonna run out and do i gotta let the dogs in and do some shot just a, i gotta get a couple things at the store kroger walmart and come on sorry i get so drowned drowned out with the bright sunlight i've got to grab a few things let me get your treats so i brought marion and jackson home because you know they don't like shopping and but before i go i'm going to put dinner in the crock pot and I've shown this recipe before it's super easy <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get some chicken out of the freezer and put it in the crock pot and let that cook and then later on this when it's dinner time or about an hour before I'm gonna add some pepper jack cheese and some what are they called green chilies and some cumin and then just let the cheese melt and it's just pepper jack chicken and I sometimes put it on a tortilla or sometimes I just eat it by itself it's like a low carb Dinner, but it's really good, super easy. There's no recipe I follow. I just literally one pack of cheese, one can of green chilies, a couple chicken breasts, but they are frozen solid, so I'm probably gonna put them on high because it's like 128 already.
size of chicken. Just put in two big ones and a small one. <clears throat> and I'm gonna, I put that on high because it is 132. And so those are gonna cook. I'm not, I'm so full right now. I can't even think about dinner, but I guess we, we might, they'll be ready by like 5.30 or something. That's four hours on high should be good. But right now, Marion and Jackson just got in the pool and because it is hot, it was not a long sleeve shirt day. Oh my word, we were hot there watching soccer. Oh, we were sweating so bad. I was like, I wish I put my hair up. I wish I wore short sleeves. But then you go into a restaurant or a store and you are freezing because they have air conditioning on. But anyway, I am going, I might be making this recipe tonight that I've made it, I made it before for Elena. It's actually from a cookbook that I got her for Christmas. It's Kristen Cavallari, I think it's how you say it. But it's like these carrot cake muffins and then you use, you make a cashew frosting, kind of like cashew butter, I don't know. I don't know, but I tasted the frosting when I made it. It was really good. And then I also, I need to check the ingredient list. There's one thing I need to get that I can't get, like I can't find it, but Elena said they have it at Kroger. So if I make that, I'll share that in this video. I've been wanting to make it for a long time and share it with y'all. It's just like a healthy dessert. If you're looking for a healthy, like it's literally healthy to eat. She says, there's no guilt when you eat this, like eat as much as you want. So I think I'm going to make those. And then I do think I'm going to decorate for fall this weekend. So it's going to be in this vlog. It'll be a, you'll see by the thumbnail, I'll probably be like a bake, clean and decorate for fall. I don't know. I won't be doing my porch in this video, but when I do, that'll be a separate video. And then I don't know if I'll do a separate like home tour. I don't know. might not be, I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see. But I think that I am going to plan on decorating this weekend because like I said, we don't really have a lot of plans and the plan was to move Madison and that didn't work out this weekend. So, so this is Saturday. They tell us Monday we can sign the lease. So that's hopefully what well, Madison can sign the lease. Hopefully that will be true and then she'll have like she doesn't have to be out of here by a certain date she is anxious to get in her new place but it may take us through the whole week to move her because um she's only off like well she's off monday wednesday friday of next week she took off it's just the way her schedule is she was able to take those days off so it won't be like moving everything over a weekend probably by next weekend we'll have everything or most of everything moved already so yeah i don't know but i will be vlogging monday when we go sign the lease i'll let you look at the new place and of course when she gets all moved in and everything is set up if she is okay with it i'll do like a little tour um because i know a lot of you all asked me in the video where we bought all the things i showed you all all the things she bought for her apartment and a lot of y'all were like oh i hope she lets us see it so if she's okay with it then I'll give you like a tour of it, but um, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting. It's so strange to think that I'm going to have just one child living at home. Like I'm kind of like, I'm sad, you know, like I'm sad, but I'm so proud of her, like what she's doing in, in her life. And like, so it's not, and you know, she's just going to live right down the road. It's, it's not like she's moving out of state or anything. So it's, it's like, I'm, I'm sad, but I'm also really happy. Like I'm happy for her. I'm happy that she's happy and it's gonna give us more room here at the house we have big plans so and then she's like sad that she's gonna miss the animals and stuff so she's like i want to get a kitten and i'm like well you're gonna have to pay more for rent if you get a kitten but she's just like realizing it's she's kind of been sad lately she's realizing like packing up her room and that she won't have like oliver is actually her dog she got him for her 14th birthday and Claire is her cat, but she's not taking them. She's like, that wouldn't be fair to take Ollie away. This is the only home he's ever known. And take him away from Belle, of course, that wouldn't be right. So I said, well, you just have to come visit all the time. So she's like, yeah, I'm going to need animals. <laughs> like my, both my girls, because they grew up with pets. They're both like, I miss I miss that. I need animals. So it'll just keep her coming, coming back home. So which I'm fine with. But anyway, I have talked long enough. I'm going to go get a few groceries. When I get back, I'll probably do a grocery haul. Just gonna check i think the dogs are outside and they're out in the pool so they're gonna just relax and enjoy not having many plans this weekend clyde never has any plans for the day just to relax and be sweet huh just to relax and be sweet oh you want to go outside are we ready to come in come on is it cold yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow. 
All right, home now. I intended to vlog more when I was out, but I just didn't, I forgot. But I'm gonna do a little tiny grocery haul and then I'll show you. I ended up going to um, Ross and they, sometimes when you go in Ross, they're like fully stocked and they have tons of stuff and sometimes it's all bare and it was pretty pretty well stocked today. So I, I got a few things, but I was looking for some other things for future projects and today they were pretty stocked, so that was good. Okay, I grabbed some cat food just because Walmart didn't have any last week and I just like to keep the bin filled up. I got some more apples. We were out because I made another apple crisp. It was so good. So good. And then I got Jackson a couple of these. They didn't hardly have any, but he likes peach nectarine. I got some bananas and I, they always seem to go bad. So I got some really green ones. So those should last me like two days. <laughs> and the oranges just looked good. Got some of those. I got some... Uh, the I went ahead and got shredded carrots to make the carrot cake cupcakes because this will just make my life a lot easier and they only had like gigantic bags of carrots so this this was good and then I got the sheet pan chicken this is the one that I've used but this one looked really good too the parmesan so these were $2.69 at Kroger and they're like $1.69 at Walmart so definitely that's why I shop at Walmart around here Walmart is the best price but I like Kroger produce and it's quicker sometimes. And then I just got this, it's like a protein bar. I don't know if it's any good, it's two grams of sugar, but it's the chocolate and ch chocolate and cream cupcake. It just looked so good. Um, I don't know, it's huge, way bigger than my Atkins treat bar. So I'm just gonna try it and see. It was like $1.69 for one bar, but we'll see if they're any good. They have so many different brands, it's hard to know what's good. So this is what I got. At Ross I have almost these exact shoes but they're I've bleached them and washed them and I just cannot it's time to let them go I they're over there it's time to throw them out and they actually had almost the exact ones at Ross so I was very happy these were $16.99 and um, they don't you know stay white forever but I just needed really needed some new white slip-ons it's pretty much like the only shoes I wear in the winter and then they had these they are these for $24.99 which is kind of expensive and I don't really love the gold on the back but they're I love to wear these with jeans and yeah sweatpants whatever in the winter and then I got a pair of jeans these were $16.99 and they're Ellen Tracy and they're size 6 whatever like a lot of you guys told me in my <laughs> try on haul I should try sixes these totally fit but of course they have the spandex in them so but they're really cute. I like their like ankle length. And uh, Ross has great jeans, great prices on jeans. Then I got this 10 pack of food storage containers. It was $7.99, I think. And mine were just looking really rough. So it's time to throw some out. And I've got some new ones. And I love these snap on lids. And then I got this Martha Stewart every day. Just some of these knives. I just need some new ones. These were $7.99 of course they're that beautiful teal color and then also this is a Martha Stewart everyday pan this one's $9.99 it's just a new skillet we go through skillets for some reason like all the time so that is my Ross haul okay it is six o'clock now Ooh, bright light and the chicken is done I'm gonna take that out and shred it up and then I'm gonna shred my pepper jack cheese and then put it back on it with some I'll show you and let, probably let it cook for about another hour. Okay, so I shredded my chicken up. I like to shred it by hand because I don't like, I like to get all the little things out. <laughs> I'm very particular about my chicken, but um, the dogs always get the scraps and they love it. They know when I'm shredding chicken. So I'm gonna put some cumin. I have a little can of diced green chilies. This just gives it such good flavor. You don't have to put this in, obviously, but it gives it such good flavor. And then this is a whole block of pepper jack cheese. So I'm just going to mix these in, put this on top, cook it probably for about another hour just till everything is melted. And sometimes I do put a can of black beans in it, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that today. watched that video where Madison and I went shopping and bought tons of stuff um, I bought a few things a few well 
yeah, I guess it was a few things for fall, and then I had done a small haul in another vlog, but I didn't show you everything I got, so I thought I'd show you a few things. These are really cute. I got these on Amazon, and I'll link it down below, but you know I love buffalo plaid. I, they're a little, I think they might be a little big, but I'm going to put these on my pillows on the couch because I've always wanted to get the orange ones for fall. I love traditional fall colors. And I finally did it this year. And I think I'm going to get like red and black or red and white for Christmas and just switch them out, you know. So I got two of these. And then I have that long pillow that says better together. And so I got this one off Amazon to go on that pillow. Isn't that so cute? It's got the black and white. This was so... I actually saw this in like a set and I didn't want the whole set. But then I saw that I could get it by itself. So that's exciting. And I showed these. Got these at Walmart. I love the orange and white gingham. And then I got these for my front porch, but that's going to be in another video. I got this at TJ Maxx for $7.99. It's a sand and fog and it's pumpkin spice. And it smells amazing. I love things that smell like they're baking, but look at the lid. Isn't that so cute? You can actually like switch out the lids. They have all kinds of really cute ones, but that was cute. And I picked up a little plaid pumpkin I got at Walmart. I have some other ones that are all downstairs, but these have been up here. I just didn't put them down there because I knew I was going to be pulling them out soon. Oh, and I'll show you what else I got. So, you know, I have the green and white back here, like the contact paper, and I wanted to make it like look better for fall and for Christmas. I might get different ones too, but I got this scrap of paper when it was on sale and I'm going to put this along the back so that it will be more fall like, I guess. And then I'll put, you know, change all that decor. Up. It's been an hour. I actually turned it up to high like half an hour ago. I probably shouldn't because now it's like burnt along the edge, but that's the best part. <laughs> so I made Marion tacos, but I think I'm just going to make, um, I'm going to use these chips and make nachos. So I put some of the chips, the chicken, and then some of this. This is the fresh salsa. We get it in the, what's it called? Like the produce section at Walmart. Well, good Sunday morning. It is about time to leave for church. It's always kind of when I pick up my camera on Sundays when I'm at least put together. But yesterday, I just kind of, all my motivation just kind of tanked. I had none to do anything else. I did have a family member end up in the emergency room, so I was kind of trying to be available if I needed to, but the way that COVID is now, you know, you can't really go up there and do anything, so it was kind of like, we were just waiting for phone calls, but this today I'll probably have to go pick them up and I don't know. I don't know, but they're doing good. So, um, hi Ollie. We're going to go to church now. I do plan on this afternoon doing my fall decor and in between other things, I also have to get laundry done. Um, we have to get Jackson. He's going back to school tomorrow. So we have to get everything ready for that. All his books and binders and everything that he brought home. We have to get all that um you know ready for him for tomorrow and then um i need to you know just do some cleaning and some decorating i might do some baking later i don't know almost 3 30 in the afternoon we went to church and then we went to lunch and then we went to walmart got a few things and then i went and picked up my family member from the hospital took them home everything's good got them settled so we just got home the washer is going so you'll hear that but um i'll just do a really quick little grocery haul i got some of these buns because these are so good this bread is so good so i know the buns are good i'm just gonna make a quick dinner tonight we went and got cc's pizza for lunch so I don't know how hungry everybody will be, but I'm just gonna make like those chicken and steak breaded patties I get at Sam's and then put them on buns. So that'll be a quick dinner later. Jackson wanted these 
chocolate croissants. Madison loves them too. I mean, I love them too, but he picked those out. And then he loves these little lemon cakes that you get for like 50 cents at Walmart. So got that. Got some more of the plant butter sticks. I like baking with these. And I did check the saturated fat and it is two grams less than, yeah, the saturated fat is two grams less than regular butter. So that's good. I got the olive oil, but they also have avocado oil and almond oil, but they're all the same amount of saturated fat. I got some sliced cheese. I like that on my breakfast sandwiches, breakfast burritos, and then my favorite spreadable butter. I got Jackson another water bottle. I'll need to wash that. Got that for school. And then he did get two of these, but he took one already to drink. And then when we got like to the chicken, the chicken was like almost all gone. So I grabbed, this isn't the brand that I like to get, the ground chicken, but I grabbed two of these just in case, um, you know, I needed it and I couldn't get it. And then I got another thing of, I think it's three big, thick chicken breasts just to have in the freezer. So I gotta put all this away and I'm gonna change my clothes and I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna pull up my fall decor. And I'm also gonna be making those carrot cake cupcakes. I'll share that with you in a little while. They are outside enjoying the pool. <laughs> it's always, oh, I've got the hiccups. It's always WrestleMania with Jackson. But they're enjoying the last um, probably warm day this year. They're saying like, I think it's gonna be 80 tomorrow and then it's gonna be in the 70s, which is glorious, but you know, summer's gotta go. At least we can have some beautiful fall weather. Oh, I hate the hiccups. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. I did not do my dishes last night because after dinner, I didn't do anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload and reload the dishwasher and then I'm gonna like sweep the floors and dust and all that so that when I pull up my fall stuff I'll be ready to set it out and I do like I showed you yesterday those scrapbook papers I have to do that that's gonna be like the biggest thing and then I can put everything on here which I'm excited because you know I didn't have a hutch last year I don't have my shelves anymore over here to decorate but I do have my hutch Even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different
I'd be going crazy, I don't know what to do My heart is screaming for you, babe And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Every time I'm feeling Glowing in the dark, I feel it in my heart You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark Yeah, you're glowing in the dark Can't stop looking at ya, you. you're like a firefly Guide me out of the woods now oh. I think I lost my way but got you to help me back Tell me what I should do now Pretty much everything. Jackson's vacuuming his room. So I'm gonna pull out my faucet. It's probably gonna take, you know, it's a process, so it's gonna take a little while. And I don't um, want it to take all night because I wanna sit down later and watch Alaskan Bush People because it premieres tonight and I've had it on my calendar that it premieres tonight and I don't wanna miss that. So it's like almost five and I think it starts at eight. So hopefully I can get most everything done by then, but I'm sure it won't all be done. But I'll do them. Uh, hopefully, I can get most of it, uh, the fall done, fall decorating done today because it is fun. And I really, you know, September, what's today, September 19th. Today is actually Michael and Danielle's one year anniversary. That is crazy. If you watched that video, that was one year ago today. Crazy, crazy. They are on a wonderful anniversary trip. I think I said this anniversary trip. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put these pillowcases on and then. Bring up my fall bins. I'm gonna have Marion help me bring my fall bins up. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, yeah, you're glowing in the cute bell bell you 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 know you match my halloween decor you're black and white you match my buffalo plaid that is really cute <laughs> definitely love that and these will be fun to switch out at christmas i did buy the blue and white ones if you remember i just took them off and washed them a long time ago and i just never put them back on because i knew i was going to put these on but i really like the pops of orange and then i do have a couple fall throws i'll see if i can throw one of them over the couch I'm not sure because it's against the wall and the windows I can't usually throw them over the back so we'll see I end up usually end up putting it on my recliner I think now what I'm gonna do is just like take all this out and then try and fix the back and then when I have all my stuff up here I can decide what to go what's gonna go back in here and then what you know new stuff will go in Like I said, this is the paper I showed you. It's just supposed to look like wood. And 
These are actually both different heights. I remember when I was putting the contact paper and they weren't the same. So, so this is a little shorter than this. This is higher than this. So I'll have to like cut them to fit. Okay, got the fall bins up. Clearly, I have too much stuff. Clyde, no, no. I have that. It's like an extra large bin and then a regular size bin, but it's all overflowing. So, um, this doesn't even include like my wreaths for the door. And then, obviously, those pillowcases. But I have all my like regular decor right here that was up on my hutch. So, I have to, I have like so much of this downstairs too. I am going to put all this up and then see what fits. You know what fits also but I know that I'm gonna also go through this and have a bag for Goodwill I have actually two bags in my room of things to take to Goodwill so I'm gonna just go through this real quick and see what I want to donate what I haven't used in a while and then see what I have left Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I already separated some stuff. This is for outside on the porch. And I'm gonna take out the kitchen stuff, or at least the stuff I know is gonna be in the kitchen. That's all my pumpkins. I don't think that's too, too much. <laughs> it's probably very excessive, but um, I do have a couple more pillows. So I'm just gonna start putting things out and see what I like. See, you know, it's a process.
Okay, here is the living room finished. I went ahead and took a lot of the pictures down just because I just don't have room for them all. As much as it makes me sad, I love to have all my pictures up, but for fall and then Christmas, I'll keep them away and then after Christmas, I'll decide what I wanna put back up. But I got this throw at, oh gosh, I don't even remember. Christmas tree shop maybe? Yeah, and I want I love plaid, so I wanted a plaid throw. I have a couple throws already, but that one's super soft. And I love the orange in here. Really love the orange in here. And then I have this really pretty, really soft throw that Belle loves. You like it? Uh, I got it last year. I can't remember where. And then I got that at Christmas tree shop. So I just put those over there. I mean, realistically, that's going to get moved all around. But <laughs> I'll try to, yeah, try to fix it. And then I took a lot of stuff down up here too. A lot of my pictures, which I love because same thing. I just don't have room. I just put a couple things up here. Um... I got that at Hobby Lobby and that at Hobby Lobby. I've had this forever and ever, and I got that at Michael's years ago. So for now, I just kept a few special pictures. You know, all the wedding pictures are everywhere, but I think it looks pretty and um, it's definitely, you know, definitely looks like fall with the orange. Then I also have an orange, another orange blanket I just threw in there. So, yep, that is the living room. And then of course I showed you the dining room and there's that. All this is actually going to be donated. This is all stuff that I am just done with. Don't need it. Don't want it in my house. And then all this is going to be for my porch. So that'll be on another, in another video. I did make a few changes here. I just put this here because I thought it would tie in the blue up there. And I don't want it just to be orange and yellow and I don't know. I like it all. When, when I decorate for Christmas, that will come down. But I think the green is fine for fall. I like the green for fall, actually, with all the oranges and yellows. So that is what it looks like. But it is now 8 o'clock, and I am going to turn on my show that I want to watch. But I am going to finish in my kitchen. I've been playing around with some things, but nothing, yeah, final. But I'm going to go also in there and make those carrot cake cupcakes. So I'll show you that. And what I figure out for the kitchen. Okay, so I've been moving things around, trying to figure it out. I'll show you what I've got. So far, this lighting is weird. Let me turn on this light. So I put this over here. This was from Christmas Tree Shop, and then this was that picture I got at Hobby Lobby, and I just put the greenery from the table on it. I think it's really pretty. I got this at Hobby Lobby. This is gonna go over here for the hand soap. I didn't put anything up here just because I really like the way this looks. At Christmas I will, but for now I'm just going to leave that like that is. And then I put this little pick I got from Hobby Lobby. I put one there and then one up here. I love those picks because I love to keep greenery around. I figured I'd put them on them. I got stuff from dinner. I haven't even finished my dinner. <laughs> um, then I have... This is this got at Walmart for a dollar, but this I had from last year at TJ Maxx. I forgot I had this candle, but I've only used like half of it, so there's a ton left. And this one smells really good. It's like baking. Th this one compared to this one, this is more like sweet, I guess. I don't know, perfumey. This one is more like you're baking something, which I love. So just put that there. And then I got another little one right there. And then I got these towels too, just to... I like the orange, you know, and the gingham, the orange and white gingham. And then this is super cute. I got this, I think, at Home Goods. And then this might be a little overkill on the pumpkins, but, you know, I got a few little signs. Well, this little sign from Hobby Lobby. And then I got this last year. I love it. And then, where did I get this? Let's see. Hobby Lobby, I guess. Yeah. And I love the, the teal, so... And then I got those little, um, the little pumpkins at Walmart. And then I have this rug set I got at Ross last year. I just put one of them right there so that Marion can stand on that when he's making his coffee. And then I have another one right here where the cats are laying on it. I haven't decided. It's really long, and I might put it here, but I really like this rug. So I have to decide. And also, this was above my TV, and I like this container. I think it's pretty in the kitchen. Okay, I decided to put that up there. I think that the white, I don't know. I think it's pretty. So I took the white picture down and I put it over here. For now, I don't know. It's pretty. Sorry, this TV's so loud. 
I love Alaskan bush people. <laughs> I've always loved them. Um, but I put the little pumpkins right here. I thought that was kind of cute. I did have to kind of like bend them down a little bit if you buy these at Walmart and you wonder why it looks like that because I bent the stems. But anyway, it's cute like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make these carrot cake cupcakes. So, like I said before, they are, it is a Kristen Caballeri recipe, so I'm gonna go ahead and just like type it out in the description box, and that way you can have the exact recipe. It's got ingredients that are not necessarily something that everyone would have, but if you're, um, they're not hard to find if you want to, to buy them. The uh, um, way the recipe is, it's actually pretty healthy, and yeah, she says it's healthy. So, and it's one that I have uh, made before. Very, uh, Lena said it was very good. I tasted the, like I said, I tasted the cashew frosting. Okay, so the ingredients for the cupcakes are almond flour and oat flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. I don't have any ginger, but you can use like pumpkin pie spice that's what I used last time instead of all the all of those I'm just gonna have to make it without ginger because I don't have that eggs coconut oil melted lemon juice maple syrup coconut cream vanilla and grated carrots and then the cashew frosting is raw cashews maple syrup cinnamon and salt and that's it and she says that they are I guess if you use these ingredients they are gluten and dairy free Anyway, she says they're they could actually they're actually not that bad for you So go ahead and indulge and I'm what are you doing? <laughs> Always looking for like healthier dessert options And so this is definitely one that I thought I would share um, I will do a video Jackson honey Tell him to hit like hit the like button. Thank you. I will sh do a video um, eventually about like all the things that I have found that sort of like satisfy my craving for sugar and um, I'm gonna share that video but it's it's gonna be um, it just has to be it's not yet but it will be coming eventually but this is one recipe that I thought would be fun to share with y'all that is pretty guilt-free and super good and not hard so it's got you know fresh ingredients and yeah, so let's make this. I'm gonna type it all down below for you so you can have exact measurements and all that. But right now, I cannot wait to actually have one of these. So.
Okay, while the cupcakes are cooking, I'm gonna make the cashew frosting. It's kind of like peanut butter in a way, but um, it says to use like a good, like high powered blender. If you have that, that would be best, but I don't. I have a magic bullet, so that's what I used last time. And it worked, it just the um, cashews were not completely like solidified, not solidified, what's the word? Liquefied. <laughs> um, they still had chunks. It, it was like chunks of peanut, of cashew in it, so that's fine. Maybe if you like, like chunky peanut butter. So I didn't think it, you know, I tasted it and it was delicious. So I'm going to work on that and then just like let that sort of melt together while the cupcakes are cooking. They only take 15 minutes, so not very long at all. Okay, so two things. It says to do it when they're completely cooled, then you make this, but I'm just going to make it now. They have to cool for an hour, but I'm going to go ahead and make it. Also, it says um, to use raw cashews and then also salt. But these have sea salt on them, so I'm not going to add any salt to this. completely but I dropped one and it fell apart so I tasted it oh my gosh these are like so good amazing this is so hot <laughs> down and enjoy this oh my gosh these are so good I can't even tell you and it's all like good real ingredients so good so good so much better than like a box mix so look at my hair oh make sure to check the description box I'll type it all out for you if you want to try it um, like I said this is just one of the recipes that I found that is delicious and pretty healthy and you know instead of eating you know processed unhealthy sweets desserts this is good it's healthy it's definitely satisfies my 
you know, craving for sugar. So anyway, it has been a long weekend. I am ready to say goodbye. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know this is another long one. These weekend vlogs just naturally, they're going to be long because it's two whole days. So anyway, tomorrow we are going to sign the lease with Madison. She's going to sign the lease. We're going to go um, check out the new place and see what all they've done to it. I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow. So definitely my next vlog, make sure that you're subscribed so that you can see that so you can see her new place and lots of exciting things coming up. So I'm going to say good night. It is way too late. Jackson's going back to school tomorrow. He's been in, you know, he's been doing online. So we're ready for things to get back to normal. So anyway, I love you guys. You know that I am praying for you. I'm going to leave you with a beautiful scripture and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.